How is it going guys? So my name is Kieran and I'm here for the BMS. Now I don't know if any of you out there have ever played the video game The Last of Us on PlayStation. If you are at all into video games, you should definitely give it a go. It's a lot of fun. The storyline revolves around a parasitic fungus infecting the human race and turning everyone into pretty much zombies. So I bet you are glad that this could only happen in a video game, right? Right? Wrong. Unfortunately for my nightmares, fungi like this, known as cordyceps, actually exist out in the world and they have a well-documented history of turning ants and other insects into living zombies. Do you think I'm exaggerating? Well, let's have a little look at what these fungi actually do. First off, the fungal spores reach and attach to the ant's body. From here, they extend their hypha, which are the finger-like extensions of a fungus, and they drill into the exoskeleton of the ant. Now they do this using a combination of enzymes and pure mechanical force until they have broken through into the soft tissue. The fungus then spreads throughout the body until it makes its way to the ant's hemocyl, which is near enough an ant's blood supply. This is where the zombie-like behavior starts. The ant then experiences full body convulsions, starts shaking and falls onto the forest floor. The ant then climbs up the stem of a nearby plant and bites into the leaf vein. Now this bite is so forceful that you can actually identify the dumbbell shaped marks in fossilized plants from hundreds of thousands of years ago. Once it's bitten down, in order to make sure that it stays right there, the fungus destroys the connection between the ant's brain and its jaw so that it is just stuck there until it starves to death. This is why this phase is known as the death bite. Now here is the really crazy part. Once the ant has died, the fungus literally shoots out of the ant's head and body in order to rain fungal spores below on the rest of the ant colony and start the whole process again. This has become such a large problem for some ant populations that they have developed a method of spotting this disease early, picking up the ant if it is infected, carrying it far enough away, lobbing it there and saying, and never come back. Luckily for the ants, they do have one friend in this fight, and it is known as a fungal hyperparasite, which is an extremely cool name. Basically what this does is it parasitizes the original parasite and stops it from dispersing its spores. Unfortunately for some of the ants, this hyperparasite can only take effect once the original parasite has already shot out of the ant's head, which isn't very nice for the ant which that's happening to. But this hyperparasite may be able to explain why even though this fungus is so effective at killing some ant populations, why it hasn't just completely wiped them out already and why there is a bit of a balance to them being able to survive. So the question I bet most of you are asking is could this happen to humans? And the answer is luckily probably no. There's two main reasons why. Firstly, in order for this whole process to work, the fungus has to be extremely specialized to the neural physiology of the ant which it's infecting. For the fungus just to jump over to humans, it would take a huge change in how it actually works because despite what some people may lead you to believe, ant and human brains are very different. Secondly, humans are warm-blooded, which means we are very good at fighting off fungal infections when we are at our full strength. The only time most humans will get a fungal infection is if it is a surface problem such as athlete's foot or if you have a compromised immune system such as if you're a sufferer of AIDS. So those two factors together means that we should be pretty safe from a cordyceps infection at least for quite a while. But if you ever happen to see someone stumbling around shivering with a glazed look in their eyes you may have just found the first human on earth to be the victim of the cordyceps zombie apocalypse or you found me on a Saturday morning. I would double check first. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did and you wanna check out more, there's loads more on the BMS page to check out. If you wanna see more in the future, hit subscribe and they'll come straight to your homepage. And I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye-bye.